Hey crypto fam, I'm Chris with Exodus and in this video we're going to take a closer look at Decentraland, the virtual world sensation that is built on top of the Ethereum blockchain. We're going to cover the benefits of blockchain based land ownership, the decentralized native currency and some of the more interesting real world use cases for Decentraland. Let's first go back to the beginning. Okay, maybe not that far back. Okay, that's much better. Decentraland development started back in 2015 with a 2D proof of concept cleverly named the Stone Age. The project has come a long way since then and in February 2020, it officially launched for the public. So let's see what this virtual world has to offer today and answer the question, what is Decentraland? Decentraland is a fully decentralized 3D virtual world where people can own and develop their own virtual land, or they can wander around and interact with what other users have created, as well as other people that are exploring Decentraland at the same time. The landscape can include anything from static 3D scenery to interactive objects, buildings, art, games, or massive events that attract thousands of users. So while Decentraland isn't necessarily a revolutionary product, if we dig a bit deeper, you can see how Decentraland brings a new paradigm to the virtual world. The world of Decentraland is divided into small fragments called parcels. Each parcel is 16 meters by 16 meters, or for those not on the metric system, that's 52 feet by 52 feet. And it's the very smallest piece of land you can own. However, if you own several parcels right next to each other, you can combine them to create an estate. Who doesn't want that? Furthermore, some large areas are allocated to a specific theme and thus create a district. Genesis Plaza is the most notable example, sitting at the center of the map. It's a beautiful virtual plaza where you can learn more about Decentraland, its history and how to navigate it and what places are all the craze at any given moment. But I'm getting ahead of myself here. As I was saying, the land is divided in parcels. Each parcel is represented by an X and Y coordinate on the map and by a quote land token on the Ethereum blockchain. Land is an ERC721 token, which means that it's non-fungible or what we would call an NFT for non-fungible token. It's scarce and it's a collectible. In other words, each land token is unique and cannot be replicated or exchanged with another. It holds the information of the land location in Decentraland. And the XY coordinates along with the decentralized servers run by the community holding the content needed to render it in 3D graphics for everyone to enjoy. And that's the beauty of Decentraland. It's what distinguishes it from other centralized digital worlds like SimLife or Minecraft. In these, the world is controlled by a single entity who can change the rules as they desire or censor you or even ban you. They could even go out of business and in which case you lose everything that you've built. But with Decentraland, the world belongs to the community. And that goes one step further because Decentraland is governed by a DAO. It's a decentralized autonomous organization. And because it's decentralized, it means that everyone in the community can participate to vote on the proposals they want to adopt or reject. They also control the important smart contracts like the land contract, the estate contract, the wearables and the marketplace contracts. Oh yeah, did I mention that there are fancy wearables that can be purchased at, you guessed it, the decentralized marketplace? So even if you've never heard of Decentraland, you've probably seen MANA if you looked into the crypto market cap. It's the native token that fuels the economy of the Decentraland ecosystem. MANA was introduced back in August 2017 through an ICO that gathered a little over $26 million and its circulation started just a few months later. In January 2018, it saw its all-time high, reaching 18 cents. And that means the price isn't at its all-time high anymore. And since decline, it's trading now 
at the time of this recording at around 5 cents. That's more than a 100% increase over the ICO price of 2.4 cents. In December 2017, early adopters were given a chance to purchase land in an auction called the Terraform event. Nowadays, you can buy land in the marketplace where some of these early adopters have put up their land for sale. And like in real estate, location is key. You can expect to pay a much higher price for an estate that's close to a hub that sees much traffic, like Genesis Plaza. And of course, if the estate's really large. And as we mentioned before, besides land, you can go to the marketplace and also buy fancy wearables that the community has created to dress up your avatar. Because although your avatar doesn't come into the world naked, let's face it, fashioning a unique wearable that no one else has is half the fun. The other half, of course, is building up your land through the Visual Builder Tool, or the SDK. With some basic programming skills, you can actually enhance your participation in the world and interact with other users through the built-in chat tool, or invite your friends for a virtual drink to your virtual house that's called Mia Casa, a clever name you bought at the marketplace. The possibilities here are endless. If you don't have any mana but are already excited and want to dive into Decentraland, worry not. You can buy mana directly in Exodus by exchanging with other cryptocurrency assets. Exodus is a cryptocurrency wallet for your desktop or mobile device, home to more than 100 cryptocurrency wallets and other crypto apps. You can save store, send, receive, and exchange your crypto assets with Exodus. Click the link above to start using Exodus today. So how do you immerse yourself in Decentraland gameplay? All you need is a browser with Chrome or Firefox, because those are the ones that are officially supported, running on a Windows or Mac OS computer. And although that's all you need to visit Decentraland in order to experience the world to its fullest or buy your land and other collectibles in the marketplace, you'll also need an Ethereum wallet like like MetaMask or Mist, loaded with some mana and ETH. You can spend mana in the world too to access additional content while rewarding its creators, and you'll need the ETH to pay for the transaction fees. And once in, what does the Decentraland gameplay feel like? Well, the world is vast. It's transversible and it's certainly colorful. You can walk around with your mouse and arrow keys, enter buildings and interact with objects. Or you can open the map and quick jump to any location that piques your interest. You can visit clubs, museums, casinos, parks, see digital art, take a ride in a Ferris wheel or listen to music, or the sounds of bird chirping, or just play games. But the truth is this world feels kind of lonely. And the reason that is is because Decentraland is in its infancy and only about 500 people log in each day. Furthermore, these might be logged in in different servers called Realms, which are also run by the community on a P2P protocol. That stands for peer-to-peer. -peer. This means that even though you might be in the same place with other users, you might not actually be able to see them because they're connected to a different server than you. The best way to socialize with other users is probably by attending one of the many virtual events that happen in Decentraland. And you can find all of them in the link below. What do you think? Is virtual real estate the future? And is Decentraland going to be the new leader in this developing new market? A world on its own, buzzing with millions of avatars. Are you a mana holder hoping it will moon if this happens? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content from Exodus. This is all for now. Until next time, hold on.